guys, welcome back. It is Wednesday, the 25th of April, and I am here with another floss tube update. So, for starters, I do have progress on two projects. Um, not very much. We had family in town. My sister-in-law came and stayed with us for a couple of days over the weekend, and we basically were out of the house the entire time. So I didn't get any stitching done this weekend. Um, plus we're in the middle of grades right now, but I'm finally done, um, for the most part. I can finish the rest up at work tomorrow, though. Um, putting in grades and closing out some of our students so I can get ready for the next, um, the next learning period, as we call them. But today I have... The two whips I want to show you, I have a lot of haul and possibly some mania plans. We'll see. I haven't quite decided yet, but we can kind of talk about what I have. So I'm going to try to make this short. The first things I'm going to show you is my whips. Um, this one you are probably sick of. And it doesn't even have that much more progress on it, but here is George. Row 45 is done. So I only got one more row on him completed, but progress is progress, right? It's hard to show all of this in frame, but... So there he is. And then, I also have some progress on Electra. So there's a refresher on what she will look like. I have, she did not get any, like hardly any attention at all. So I got her out of my project bag and went to start stitching on her and I couldn't find the pattern anywhere. I realized I didn't make a working copy because the printer that we were using, or our, we basically had set it up at my mother-in-law's house, but then we packed it to move and in the time it was packed, I didn't have a chance to print, a, like, to print out the actual copy, like in those last couple months we were living at my mother-in-law's, so. I couldn't find the pattern, had literally every other pixie, could not find her. And then I had an idea last night that she's probably with my binder of other patterns. So I did find her, and so I was able to stitch on her a little bit. So here's what she looks like so far. And I started getting the pumpkin and the leaf done. So last time I just had like up to here on the leaf, so I got a good bit more done. I'm going to work on her some more today and try to finish up that pumpkin and some more of the black on her dress. So she's coming along nicely. The black coverage is pretty good on her, I think. But this is a fabric that I dyed myself. Uh, which is a 14 count opalescent. So she's coming along. She will be hopefully done soon. Um, she's more, there's more done on her than I was thinking there was last time um, when I was talking about her. So that's it for my whips. I know it's super disappointing. Um, yeah, like I said, just between grades and family, I just didn't have time to do much. Um, so hopefully next time I'll have a lot to show you. Because I might have an ending start. But I have a ton of haul. Um, I know last time I had talked about doing, or about the stuff that I had ordered from the attic from their clearance, um, group that McKenna started and I did get those in just today um, 
What do I want to start with? Let's go ahead and start with that so you can see what I have so far. So the whole reason that I had gone on was because I snagged one of these beauties. So it's the Teresa Winsler Best of Fantasy Collection Volume 2. So I'm sure you guys have already seen this. I'm going to do, I'm not going to do a flip through unless you guys ask for it, but I am going to show a couple of my favorites. So The Guardian. The, the Fantasy Triptych is also in here. I really like Trade Winds, and this is probably one I'm going to be doing first. Um, possibly The Mermaid. Last I saw, this is the mermaid pattern itself is still available on there, on the group. I forget for how much it is though. Um, but there are eleven designs in here. There's some minis, which are pretty cute. Um, so yeah, so super excited to get that. This was twenty dollars, um, but it is out of print, so I was happy to get that. I also got two poppy, poppy Creations patterns. The first one is Mary Mary. And it says, I'm going to change this a little bit. So the, it says, Mary Mary Christmas, one and all, Santa Claus has come to call. Lots of gifts are under the tree. Tell me Santa, are they for me? I'm going to change it a little bit because I really like, in poetry, I like having like the same number of syllables, if it makes sense, and in this case it does, so I'm going to change it to Merry Christmas, one and all, Santa Claus has come to call, lots of gifts under the tree, tell me sir, are they for me? I really struggled with this taking out Santa, but the word Santa... Um, but so far that's what I'm going with. But this pattern is interesting because it's a bell pull, but if you look at the pattern, which I'm not going to show you, they only have, like the tree down here is next to it. Like they have it charted over here and then you just are supposed to, they give you instructions on where to put it. So I have no idea when I'm going to start that. Hopefully get done before Christmas. It's, it's small. It's not going to take me long. But I also got from Charting Creations, or sorry, from Poppy Creations, Sleigh Bells Ring. So this is charted for DMC General Arts and Weeks Die Worth. Weeks Die Works. Um, but I'm going to change it just to all TMC. And I might do, I love these little jingle bells down here in the different colors. But I'm thinking when I, fr when I frame it, I might put some actual, um, like, little jingle bells in there. Or, I'm probably not going to frame this. I'm probably going to do a no so cube or a canvas finish, but we'll see. We have a visitor. Hello, baby. You want to say hi? She's not having it today. And then this last pattern is one of my favorites that I saw. This one was only $10. And I think there's only one available. But this is Plum Street Sampler's Sea Hag. And I know this is hard to read, but it says Red Ski. Wow. I'm having a real problem talking today, guys. I'm sorry. Red sky at night, tis the sea hag's delight, for she sings bonnie sailors from bed. 
In their thick sleeping trance, they are lost in her dance, yet her crowns are the skulls of the dead. So as you can see, I have a sea theme going on, and I'm thinking I'm going to redo my living room in ocean stuff. So this is definitely going to get started soon, because I love this one. The only changes I will probably make, this is all charted for general art threads. And I don't know if I will use those or DMC, but I'm thinking some of it I'm going to make up on my own. The one thing I know I'm changing is the sea hag herself. I'm thinking of doing a tea dyed linen, which is kind of what the um, fabric looks like. But I'm thinking I'm going to do her with bright purple hair and a brighter greenish teal tail. But I'm still going to make it look like it's it fits in with the rest of it because I don't want her standing completely out. But like the fish are bright blue up here. I don't know how well that's showing through. Um, there, that's a little better. So you can see the fish are bright blue and then everything else is kind of dark. So I think if I bring that color into here, into the hag, it will help uh, make everything match a little bit better. But I'm probably going to be doing this in DMC, but I might use some variegated, um, some variegated colors. So those is, are what I got from the attic. They did also send me, I know I talked last time about the beads that are part of, and then my cat's sitting on my pattern. So hang on one second. So I know I talked last time about Dasher and getting these beads in, um, these six beads. Well, they didn't carry them either, and so what I decided was McKenna was awesome and showed me a bunch of different kinds of, or a bunch of the different beads they had on hand, and so I'm going to go ahead and go with these. Let me turn on my light again, because that might show it better are these 03003. So like a red uh, metallic. That shows it pretty well. Um, a red metallic, kind of larger bead. They are size, no idea. <laughs> and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put three beads together in each of those spots. So it's charted to have spaces, like behind the bead is not stitched at all, but I'm gonna go ahead and stitch in all the green in there and then just put these beads on top in groups of three to look like holly berries. So that's my goal, is to get that done soon because that is the next color I'm working on, is that green. So we'll see how long that takes me do hopefully not very long I did get in a bunch of other beads and stuff for well okay so I ordered from one two three stitch some of the colors for my chatelaine um, first of all I did get in the beads from European cross stitch I'm not going to take these out, um, but basically all of the beads that I will need, which I love this one, for like to get that started. I'm going to do that on a 28 count. I did just make another order from 123 Stitch that has the fabric and basically I should at this point have between my last order and the order I have coming in, I should have all of the threads and beads that I need to do the entire middle section. 
Um, so the ones that I got so far, I got all of the water lilies needed, which is Jade. Budding Leaf, which is, yeah, it shows a little better. It's greens and yellows. It's showing up much brighter on camera than it is in real life, but. And Emerald, which is probably one of the least. See, this one shows up a lot more variegated on camera than it does in real life. But those are all three of the water lilies that are required. I also got two of the colors of the Silk Lame, which is SP51. I believe this one is. Oh, I forgot these ones don't have names. So SP51, and I needed two skeins of that. And I got SP113 and two skeins of that. Since I got that, or since I was ordering that, I went ahead and you can't go to 123 Stitch and not get a pattern, right? Isn't there a law somewhere like that? So I got the Christmas Eve Courier's Santa Sleigh. And I got everything that goes along with this which is the Krynik 421, this gorgeous red. Krynik 28. I thought about changing these to Petite Treasure Braid. Um, I didn't really feel like doing the conversions, I was lazy. I got 13063, which are these pink. And there's two packs of those. I got 13053, which is the green hanging crystal. And this one is actually for Dasher. Um, all the treasures are for Dasher. And I got the 13051, which is the crystal. crystal teardrop. And so then these are for Santa Sleigh, which is 00167, the Christmas green. 02022, which is like gunmetal gray, I think is that one. And the 10081, which is these big silver, silver beads. So those all go with Christmas Eve couriers. Um, there is another, let's see, one other color of beads, which is like a gold color, which go in here, but I already have that in another project. So those should, I should have plenty of those. But like I said, I got the new order coming in from 123Stitch to do in that to do that whole inside part of the mandala, which I realize is right here, but to do basically everything that's in this inside part. So um, that should be coming. It was sent, I believe today. So should be here in like two days. They send out of Utah and I live in California. So it's there. It, everything's usually here in like a day or two. But so I'll show you those when I get them. Um, everything in that order, I actually did not get a pattern because I got fabric. So unfortunately, no new patterns, but I'll show that to you when I get it in um, in my next update. And so my mania plans, I had the thought of doing the, uh, basically of starting the Chatelaine and because now my fabric should definitely be here on time. 
my thought was I would start a new color or a new type of stitch each day of mania. My worry with this is starting on the 11th, I'm going to be going on vacation. So I won't be able to start. Sorry, my cat is nosing around and trying to dump everything on the floor. Um, my worry with this is that, like I said, I'm, I'm going on vacation and so I won't be able to start the new project or start the new colors. Um, my other worry is that, or not really, it's not really a worry, but my plan originally was I'm, I was only going to do my Chatelaine as part of a stitch with me because it's my first time doing a Chatelaine. It's my first time doing most of those stitches and I thought it would be entertaining. Um, it was like a first time, let's do this type of deal. So I don't know if I can do, Mocha, stop. Mocha. Stop it. I don't know if I can do um, both, especially because we're gonna be on a cruise and I'm not gonna have internet access, which of course I can video and, you know, show them all to you guys at once. But I just haven't decided yet. It might be too much to try to film four days of videos while like learning a new stitch and trying to get it set up in the hotel room and all that. So we'll see. So far I'm still kind of leaning towards that and I want to do that. But um, oh, Tracy P just texted me. Um, but I have some other ideas that I'm playing with currently. So as for right now, that's my plan is start the Chatelaine and get it, um, get it going. So, um, I'll let you know if anything changes. I might just do some new starts, but at the same time, I don't want to do a bunch of new starts because that's a lot to cart around on vacation. So I'm still deciding and I know it's coming up and I got to make some decisions soon, but enough of me rambling. Um, Tracy P was really happy with her. She got her, um, brouhaha that I sent finally. She got that today. So she was happy with that. So you're welcome, Tracy. I don't know if you watch these, but, and that is all I have for you. So next time, Hopefully you will see progress on more projects. Now that my grading is done, I can relax and stitch and enjoy. And now that our family obligations are out of the way, that is helpful. Um, we only have eight more weeks of school. And then two weeks of kind of a break, finish grades. Um, my tutoring is officially done in eight weeks, but we're hoping for the last four weeks to have a new tutor in place to get to know all of our students before they leave for the summer so that they're comfortable when they come back and there's a new tutor there. Um, and also so the new tutor can help out during summer school, which starts two weeks, basically in 10 weeks. So the weekend of July 4th, or the week of July 4th. Um, so I will not be getting hardly any stitching in then because summer school is insane, but at least I'm not gonna be juggling tutoring and teaching because that's just too difficult. Um, most of my nights I'm spending grading, which shouldn't be needed for a part-time position. So, um, yeah, so that's all I have for you. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for subscribing, commenting, liking. Um, if you guys have any ideas for what you would want to see in a stitch with me or what projects I showed you that you would like to start or anything like that, let me know. Um, if you have any ideas for what you want to see during Mania, let me know. And I will keep an ear out. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.